Got a little impeller in there. It's actually been touching the touching the walls. And you can see that up and down. <coughs> Trust your gut people. Like that's our spinning wheels all the way up there. It's spinning on the dirt in third, like. Oh yeah, she's got more power. That's bloody high tide. Gulliga National Park. That damn booty needs to be. So I've wasted absolutely no time getting stuck into this turbo upgrade. Like we're going to the Simpson next Saturday. So, and like always, everything's always last minute. So down here at my mate Gus's workshop, um, we're pulling it apart right now. We've got the uh, Easy Link hooked up to the truck and we've just got to wait for the files to come over from the US. So normally when you hook up the Easy Link, the module to program the ECU to let it know that we've done these upgrades. Normally that stuff's already on the, the Easy Link. Um, mine hasn't downloaded from the cloud, so just emailed those guys to find out what's going on. But getting stuck in to uh, removing the manifold and everything off the top of the motor and get the turbo out. And we've got the brand new turbo there and all the parts that come with the Ford Performance Kit. So Gus is uh, getting stuck right into it. So, but I've spoken in the past about mechanics and things like that and Gus is probably the only mechanic that I do trust. So the early model F250 6.7s were known to have the VGT turbo um, and they did fail um, and it was real sporadic when they would fail. There wasn't really a, they'd go around at 100,000 or they'd go at 50,000, they were just kind of best of, best of luck basically to when yours would go. So probably the only downfall of the 6.7s was the turbo but now upgrading to the 16 turbo we shouldn't have any more of those sorts of issues with this new Ford Performance kit so yeah but um the kit was around seven and a half thousand and it's money that I did not want to spend especially before going away on a big trip um we'll just spend that sort of money in general but it was either that or spend probably seven and a half thousand getting the truck out of the Simpson Desert <laughs> back to a workshop so Everything from Ford Performance. I think this kit comes from Proven Diesel. So, turbos there, big dirty Garrett. A little bits and pieces. Eventually, probably going to delete the truck, but um, just putting all the emission stuff back on for now. Get us over the Simpson. So, I've literally just come straight from the Long Ranger, straight to here. So, we're not messing around, we've gotten straight into pulling this truck apart. Gus's head first. So, not many workshops have done this on a 6.7. So we do have some uh, YouTube tutorials that we're watching <laughs> to figure it out. So I'm just winging it at this stage. Lots of things to come off and lots of things to go on. But if you're in the Nui area and you got a uh, plant and heavy equipment and stuff, give Gus a call. So, that's the box that the kit comes in, the Ford Performance box. And then we also have the Easy Link, which will link us to Proven Diesel in America to get our tunes. So, this little module here, this Easy Link. We'll then update it to the 16 turbo. I do have the bully dog there, which I'm gonna rip off. So if anybody wants that, hit me up. Um, I might sell that, get rid of it. So we'll just drop the coolant out of the truck. So probably overdue for a change actually. But head first into this thing, try and get it done. Just gotta try and smash it out. So I'll come back to you with a progress update here in a minute. I knew there was crap. 
Nice in there. Little nest underneath the turbo, in front of the turbo, under the manifold. Oh, but we're getting there, cracking on. Okay, so this is the Easy Link system. Um, just connects via your phone. So we're going to go and have a look at the um, profiles now. So as you can see, we've just uploaded the Ford 13 to 14 with the emissions 15 turbo. It's a 100 horsepower increase, but we have a lot of different custom files we can put on here. But that's the one for this this install that we've just done. So <laughs> I'm a bit nervous, but <laughs> moment of truth. I'm scared. Oh. No warning lights. No engine light. We could be on here. Yes. You guys have no idea how stressed I've been all frigging day putting this new turbo on to now start it and everything's now working perfectly so we'll just go into the uh so this is a little profile that you have here of your truck right oh, no, so just gotten home and um, it ran smooth all the way home. I just, I didn't want to be focused on filming and stuff. I just wanted to listen to the truck, make sure I couldn't hear anything dodgy or sketchy going on, but everything's sick. So yeah, Gus did a, um, Gus did an awesome job getting it all put together. The new EGR pipe work, it's all running, it's all working. So very, very happy boy I am very stressful especially being uh one week out from think um has definitely been a scary three days that this may have not come together so by the time you guys are watching this i'm going to be in the desert already so fingers crossed for me that everything goes smoothly all right so it's been a couple of days since i had the turbo put on i haven't really put my foot into it just want the turbo to like bed in, make sure everything's going sweet before I try and see if there was any major kind of increases. The truck just normally feels the same, um, but again, I've only been taking off really slow. I haven't really been putting my foot right into it to see how we go, but I've got so many different tunes on that profile that I'll have to go through the whole thing and see what other ones there is. Cause I think there's like a 200 horsepower increased tune as well um, but it's gonna get go down here to the straight and we're just gonna put my foot into it and um, <laughs> see how she goes with the new turbo it's a much bigger turbo than the other uh, twin scroll we had on the trucks so. all right we'll see how we go She's got more power. Holy! <laughs> oh boy! Holy crap! <laughs> I've got all the way to the canopy on this thing too. 37s. Let's go again. It's bloody little, uh, like little corrugations in the road suck, but. Ready? Big bloody 
four and a half to five ton truck. She gets up and boogies. <laughs> Sticky guys to the side of the car. <laughs> that is a major power increase. I think the twin, honestly, I think the twin scroll spooled up quicker. Not recently, since it's had the um, the problems that it's had with um, yeah, on its way out, but. In the beginning, it definitely was did spool up quicker. But again, it's got it's got two turbines spinning instead of one. But this once once you get going, this thing, nah, it, it kills the twin scroll hands down. So I can definitely say that the turbo upgrade has been a success. And I did order the straight pipe for it. Um, I always said I was never gonna delete this thing, but I'm just, I'm so curious to what power this thing and the node it can put down. And like, if you guys can't see these tracks, like that's us spinning wheels all the way up there. It's spinning on the dirt in third, like, and then once it gets to fourth, it starts gaining traction and, and you're out of there. But definitely it's holding boost better. So yeah, definitely you can definitely I can definitely notice the improvement with the uh, the single turbo instead of the uh, the twin scroll. So happy days! How good is that? It is a Ford Performance kit. Ford Performance actually puts this kit together. Now I will say that there is like no instructions with the kit whatsoever. So me and Gus kind of had to figure it out. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but it's just little things that were just um, would have been good to know of before we kind of bolted the turbo down and just little things that had to go in there, like a little screen that had to go in the turbo and we were not aware of those sorts of things. So definitely it'd be better if the kit had an instruction, sort of basically just a step-by-step, -step, hey, put this in here, do this, do that. But anyway, we winged it, we got it all together. So it's... um. It's all running sweet, but um, yeah, it'd be good if Ford could put that in the kit. That'd be handy, just a step-by-step -step kind of how to put the kit together. So, but this is basically bringing the 13 to 14 up to the 15-year model turbo, um, which is just a basically just single. Uh, I'm pretty sure old Garrett makes the turbo for Ford. Um, so yeah, just a single single Garrett turbo instead of having that twin scroll that the 13, 14s had, known to fail, but yeah so but massive improvement i'm stoked thing is sick and uh yeah i love when you do a major modification and you have no engine lights so winning but anyway guys uh by the time you guys watch this i'm going to probably be on my way out to the simpson desert so definitely going to get a good test out there the truck the whole kit Everything we've done, all the modifications, and we'll see. Um, we'll see on the see you when I come back. Um, basically, I'm going to film the whole trip so you guys can watch it. And is there anything that I would change after doing such a big trip? Um, I'd be really interested to see that. In my head, thinking of how I would set the truck up and how I would lo like things laid out in the truck, and is there now a different route I would like to go or would I have changed something? So I'll definitely do an, be doing a video like that when I get back and let you know if um, yeah, if any of the setup sucks. So, but I'm pretty confident I've got it dialed. So we'll have to see, but. So I know I told you guys that I wasn't gonna delete this truck, but Brian kind of twisted my arm and um, I have the ability now to do it. So this exhaust system here cost me about, oh, probably about 700 bucks or something. And this is just basically just to take out the, uh, the def. So we might do that for some off-road stuff. Take the, uh, and see how loud it is. But we're still going to leave the torque at six inch on the back. But um, yeah, we do have the delete straight pipe here in the box that I just picked up today. So yeah. Another video coming up soon. 
So gonna be doing some final preparation, ready for uh, the trip here. Gonna wash the truck and continue to fit out the rest of the stuff in the canopy, get it all ready to go. So it's looking like a, a mess at the moment. And we do have a little present showed up today, a Desert Tan F-Tech coolers. Um, all merch is getting made at the moment, guys. So I have a bunch of them ready to go on the website. I'm just making the website at the moment, so they will be available here very shortly for you guys to buy. So we're gonna do uh, hoodies, uh, shirts, stubby coolers, and I'm getting hats done as well. So yeah, I'll let you guys know. I'll do a video on that and let you guys know when the F-Tech merch is available to purchase. So I, got, I got plenty to do here. I gotta start getting all my gear and start sorting out the truck and getting everything ready to go away. So I'll, um, yeah, by the time you guys see this, I'll be in the desert. Probably actually, by the time you guys see this, I'll probably be very much smack bang in the middle of the Simpson. So yeah, can't wait to get you those videos and um, yeah, stay tuned to the channel. It's going to be some epic content coming up. So we did it. Turbo upgrade. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'll catch you guys when I get back from the Simpson in the next video. Alright.